Previously, no one really thought that bushfires were much of an issue for platypuses, but the severity and extent of, of the recent bushfires and the area that they covered, so the area that they, that they burnt was what we considered was probably the stronghold for platypuses in southeastern Australia. So, um, and it's not hard to imagine that this has had massive impacts on those waterways. So one of the things that we're trying to understand now is what has been the impact of those bushfires on platypus populations. Um, and so we've got a, a federal grant to look at that over the next 12 months. ago since the first school strike climate took place so uh, it's just that we asked her to to treat the climate crisis like like you treat any other crisis and uh, we told her to face the climate emergency which was also the core message of our open letter and um, what we want pertenecer a ese ensayo clínico porque es un candidato vacunal que nos está brindando una esperanza, una oportunidad de luchar contra esta terrible pandemia. Eh, además significa una responsabilidad. La dosis para los comprendidos entre 60 y 80 años. A pesar del, del ciclón y de la tormenta y todas estas cosas, pues se inició el ensayo clínico de la vacuna.
целями этого протокола будет уже не столько изучение иммуногенности. this prey fossil. Actually, it hasn't been digested. So, there's no etching from the stomach acid, there's no further disintegration apart from sort of breaking down from the swallowing. So, that means the predator probably did not survive too long. What's fascinating about this fossil is it demonstrates for the first time direct evidence of megapredation how large apex predators ate prey human size or larger. 